seems to be a little bit of um, <laughs> disbelief that this works on Android 15. So I'm going to show you guys real quick that this works on Android 15. You can do updates, uh, whatever you want um, on your device after this unlock solution. So, sorry, focus isn't getting in there, but we're on 15. And as you can see, it's a uh, carrier lock to Verizon. So what I'm going to do is pop the um, SIM tray out and do a factory reset. Okay, so we're back up and running here, and I'm just going to skip through the uh, startup menu, and important to remember to leave the SIM tray out, okay? SIM tray cannot be in. Alexa, music off. Okay, so go to settings, go to apps, all apps, Google Play service, or uh, let's see, yeah, Google Play services, we want to disable that. And you're going to want to turn off the uh, notification volume too, so you don't get spammed with All the pop-ups that you're going to get there. So now we connect to the internet. And go into Chrome. You're going to see a little pop up here in a second to enable Well, we're good. Perfect. So you want to search up Netpatch. So Netpatch Firewall. And the first option there is Softonic. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then just the free download. Gonna get a couple pop ups here, so you might have to click it again. So you have to allow in settings for Chrome to install the app. Then you just click done. Go ahead and swipe out of here. And we're just gonna go to the, uh, the Netpatch Firewall app. And so a couple things here. So first we turn it on, click okay. Now you're going to get a pop-up um, here. So just type in net. It's going to bring up the app. And we want to put unrestricted. Okay.
Okay, so now in the settings here, go to the search and just type in set. That's going to bring up the device setup. We want to click off on everything there. Now you want to type in lock. So device lock controller. Let's click off all those. And final step is go down into other settings. And this needs to be turned on at all times. So this is going to allow you to do updates, power the phone off, essentially do whatever you want. If you factory reset the device, then all this goes away, of course. But you can update software, um, can pretty much do whatever you want um, after you've done that. So that part is done. Now with all the pop-ups here, you can just click on one, re-enable Google Play, and then you can pop your SIM card in. I'm going to leave this on for a, a minute or two here, but again, so we're on a fold, and we're running Android 15. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you that the T-Mobile SIM works. Welcome to T-Mobile. I'll just leave this on for a few. You can toggle off all the, the settings here. You can turn off and on Wi-Fi. You can reboot the device as well. Some of the other solutions that we had previously were um, you had to do a little bit more uh, manual stuff to or Wi-Fi networks and stuff like that, but this is a super easy patch that allows you to um, have full access to the device, a little bit more control over the device, and um, it's unlocked until you uh, do a factory reset. Some of these though, after you use them for multiple days or um, however long on a, on a certain network, it will actually <laughs> Um, unlock the device but um, anyways so turned off the Wi-Fi rebooted the device um, if there's a software update feel free to take it this will still um, work after you do the update you can swap sims do whatever you want so hope this helps guys